Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 my build update status video. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. <laughs> Lol, this is a funny boss. <laughs> anyway, I uh, wanted to apologize that I delayed this video for a little bit over a week because uh, I finally actually came to my perfecto build that I'm not planning to change for the next maybe 50 levels this time I'm gonna keep uh, next time if I want to make it switch so I have enough points for everything so anyway uh, thanks to my new wifey right here I didn't have to make one more change and I managed to keep my commando slash PvE build so I had to reduce my damage even more but thanks to my new wifey that re damage reduction ain't a big of a deal but because it deals a ridiculous amount of damage so I'm gonna show uh, I'm gonna start the showcase with the mutations weapons armor stats and so on so let's start off with the mutations so we go to stats oh okay since we're on specials let's start from specials so thanks to the unyielding set that I have a full one I have a uh, pretty big numbers in terms of my uh, specials so 20 uh, 28 uh, strength 28 perception adherence 3 charisma 19 23 intelligence 33 agility and 31 luck now if I buff myself up by eating a lot of different type of food I can get even more specials so it really depends on what I eat and I really love the scorched beast liver because it gives plus 3 luck Anyway, so let's navigate back to the effects, and here are my mutations that I have. The Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, uh, Carnivore, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Have a mind, I'm from Ukraine, if you know, you don't know. Uh, Eagle Eyes, Healing Factor, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon. So these are the mutations that I use, and I bought them since I was like level 100 something and never changed them since. So in order not to lose or gain mutations I don't want to, there are specific cards that I use that I never remove, no matter what the case is, never. <laughs> I'll get to the cards a little bit later. So this is in terms of the uh, <clears throat> mutations that I use, right? So I believe there is nothing else to cover here. Alright, let's go next one. Wifeys. So I tried the rifle build because I got this beautiful gun right here. It didn't turn out well for me. So um, I already know to whom this weapon is going to go to. One of the Zeke members and a, and a friend of mine. He's been with me since my channel. When when my channel was like 200 subscribers. <laughs> that was two years ago. <laughs> and he just recently started playing. He never wanted to start because there were no NPCs. <clears throat> but recently he decided to join. And uh and he's doing a rifle build so I'm gonna give him uh, my cowboy explosive wife then Lazarina you all remember Lazarina uh, this gun was given to me by Terminator but turns out I'm not a big fan of laser guns <laughs> even though this this gun is OP bloodied uh, reduced weight and vast head chance I think that what I don't like about this gun is that it breaks super fast even if you have uh, the gunsmith and uh, if you have the front lug the lucky draw or whatever it is that it might fix your gun but it still breaks too fast and that thing just eh, I kind of like <clears throat> now with my fixie wifey that's the main gun now so I can use it and <clears throat> I pretty much repair it like once per three or four days when the, when it's needed uh, but now I repair it a little bit more Oh, sorry about that. I needed to get some water because I was losing voice of being doing live stream just like a few minutes ago. Anyway, so this is my main gun now. I do really wish if I had a better effect than this one right here. 90% weight reduction is already good, but with my perk cards that I removed from DMG, it still does 247, which is crazy. Like, I don't have all of my commando perk cards. I don't have the bloody, the bloody mess. So I, I'm missing out on a lot of... Uh, DMG cars and it's still doing ridiculous amount of damage and uh, since I'm collabing my PvE playstyle so I don't really want to have big damage and there is a reason because I taken 
cards that increase my um, reduce weight for food, heavy guns, armor, and so on. Uh, junk, medicine, so I can carry a whole bunch, a lot of stuff on my character, and uh, that gives me more playtime. Plus, I can have a lot of legendaries on me for scraping. Sometimes I might have not. I'm not able to play or farm legendaries and this guy already owns a lot of legendaries on him. Uh, I'll show you that <clears throat> my inventory right now. Jesus. So my heart penetration wife, you all know her. She, I've been with this baby for months and months and months now. It's been my top. Now she's uh, second place. <laughs> but she still does a good amount of damage and always comes to the game when my Pixie breaks, so we're good. <laughs> Still happy with her. So as you can see, my I'm carrying a whole bunch of guns, and you can see that the weight of heavy guns, for example, is 0 0.79. What's up? And it's not even 90% uh, reduced weight effect. So as you can see, there's a whole gun. I mean, pistols weigh more than my heavy guns. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's funny. That is funny. But as you can see, I'm carrying a whole bunch of things on me, and the list is just not freaking ending. And this makes the game, for me personally, more uh, sort of entertaining, because previously I had a lot of problems with the stash, with the carry weight and everything, and I was able to play like maybe 30 minutes, and then I can't play because my character is overburdened, and my stash is full. Like, come on, man. And I don't know how one of you guys actually recommended me to try to reduce weight. And I gave it a try. I uh, see the results. I'm like, dude, this is insane. And I switched my perk cards as well and just insane. So I can carry a lot more stuff. <clears throat> okay, so for the armor that I'm wearing, it's unyielding. There it is. Uh, spectate. So... I have three of weapon weight reduce reduction, 20%, so that's 60% in total, and I want to get another 40% of ammo reduced weight. And if I get weapon, weapon is good too. But this is what I have now. So you see, this one doesn't have weight reduction, and I need it. And preferably, preferably, it'll be really nice to get the increase action point refresh for all three for all five of my pieces so over here I need two uh, effects changes over here I need two effects changes okay just one see weapon reduction and weapon reduction so that's pretty much what I use for my armor all unyielding set for aid, I don't really use aid apart from food and uh, drinks. <laughs> uh, so basically, I like to have my food, liver, I always cook it, and having good perk cards, I can keep the meat running on me all the time at all costs. It doesn't spoil fast. Yeah, it's really good when you have different sort of food and you buff yourself up to ridiculous buffs. <laughs> Alright, uh, then that's pretty much it over here just ammo alright so it's time for perk cards I have a customer don't I <laughs> come on buy something buy something big something give me gifts anyway let's go to the card section so strength is 9 remember I was running with one strength till what like level 300 and something <laughs> until the weight reduction was introduced to me so then I started making changes so I, c I have the traveling pharmacy 90% reduces weight to all camps bare arms 90% less heavy guns and uh, the weight uh, pack rat the weight of all junk reduced by 75% so from perception I have two commando three stars uh, I see I'm missing out on another 20% of damage over here have that in mind and that Pixie is doing ridiculous amount of damage without all three part cards, but if you put all three of them and tank killer, it's just probably going to be insane. I'd never test it because I didn't have enough points to switch, and I kind of don't want to do that right now. I'm going to fix it later. So, uh, yeah, the tank killer and two commandos. So this is what I like here. 
uh, radical. Uh, the reason is so it gives me plus five to strength when I'm radiated, and since I'm low HP built, that's the best card that he uses. Just one that I can use is radical. Traveling agent and uh, well, charisma increase just for one reason to when playing in a team, I can level up and get more. Uh, XP by using the inspirational 3%, so it's 15%, and when it's uh, double XP, that is 30%, which is really nice, and uh, that's why I decided to sacrifice two points, uh, actually three points, and the, get that charisma up. So I actually uh, sacrificed an entire commando perk card over here to get this. <laughs> But it really helps me to grind those levels as you can see I already have 7 levels and maybe the next switch I'm going to do once I'm going to be like pl plus 50 or plus 100 there and if or if I get something extremely nice or legendary power armor will come out because I would like to give it a try, why not? Alright, well traveling agent to save up caps and 30% but now every time I get closer to almost pretty much learn every single mod, every single plan in this game, so uh, caps to me are losing value. Plus I don't buy gear and guns from other players, uh, so losing value. <laughs> All I buy is lead. <laughs> Give me lead, I need more ammo. <laughs> Alright, uh, nerve rage, obviously, below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist and 20% damage and 15% AP regen. Scrapper to previously I had when I uh, had a lot of stuff on me I had to jump here put on the scrapper scrap things put it back now I don't do it pretty much I barely change my cards when I play the only time when I change my cards is when I craft ammo or food in that case I go here for the super duper and here the ammo smith uh, okay this one is wrong this one should be, I just fixed my guns so oh wait no this is how I run every day. If I'm not, if I'm in a team, this is getting replaced with the inspirational. So gunsmith, 30% slower uh, that my guns break. Scrapper, net rage, uh, through hiker, hiker, whatever, reduce food and drinks by 90%. Sneak, of course, as must have gun food and adrenaline. These two is just heaven. Especially if you get adrenaline to all 5 stars, I'm thinking if I should be sacrificing anything, but I really don't want to, I like the way things are right now. And that additional uh, percent, eh, don't think it's a, I mean it will grind to 10% if I'm not mistaken, because I already have the adrenaline, yeah, 10% per kill. And maximum 48, over here is going to be maximum 60%, so as soon as I kill, uh, for example, six units in VATS, I get 60% more damage for 30 seconds. And the duration uh, refreshes with every kill. And that really helps when you have this thing on, because it has a 35% chance to restore all, all action points, which is insane. I, I pretty much never go out of VATS, pretty much. Because my AP is uh, over 300 right now. So agility is really nice to have on a high high. So plus the gun fu, it trigger it switches to the next target in VATS automatically without you need to click Q or whatever platform you're playing on. And you like it kills in VATS and goes to the next target, next target, next tar next target, and it gives 10%, 20%, 30% damage. Plus this another 48%. Insane. Alright, and for luck, uh, Serendipity, <laughs> when uh, lower than 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid all damage, whatever damage it is. I jumped up high freaking cliffs and survived. <laughs> that was one of the funny moments, by the way. Uh, class Freak uh, and Star Chet genes are never to be removed because I'm using the mutations. Uh, this minuses the negative effects of my mutations by 75% and this allows me not to get more ra uh, more mutations by uh, taking rads and not removing my mutations when using rad away to remove rads 
Alright, so if you're gonna go for mutations, these are the two cards that you want to get maxed out and never remove. Like, I bought my mutations and then farmed them because it's really hard to get what you want to get because there are some mutations that you don't want to get because, well, they do give a sort of positive thing, but it's not a super positive thing that you are sacrificing, you know? So, I do not recommend to get all, all mutations. Then, good with salt, spoil food less 90% more slowly. So, in this case, if I get all of my food that I want, that increases my crit damage, that increases my luck, that increases my endurance, that increases my strength, and so on. I mean, I can have a huge list of buffs that last from, uh, I think it's like, the minimum is 30 minutes? Something like that. I don't know, I don't pay attention, I just eat everything. <laughs> And I get buffs to everything. Melee, guns, whatever. Just let's go. I like the, being buffed up. And uh, any kill in VATS has a 30%, 35% chance to restore all action points. This is what I was talking about. This is very crucial when you're shooting with AP and you don't want to run out. Like for instance, my AP right now is 377. 377. Yeah, that is insane. And as I said, Oh yeah, the only thing that I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the scope. Uh, uh, Eden, one of the Z members, being with us for a very long time, is recommended to remove that scope because it, it sort of has a negative effect on AP usage once you're shooting through vats. And I'm gonna give it a try. So maybe that's the only change. So the next change is gonna happen when I'm most probably gonna be like over level 400, and if I find something super unique that will make me want to switch my build upside down <laughs> all right folks i hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know the drill don't forget to leave the like comment down below please do not use profanity as those comments are not visible to other users do not promote third-party websites that sell guns caps services whatever for real money that is something i do not support and uh, declined all of their sponsorships well as you all know there will be no sponsorships of whatever company on this channel uh, don't want them so please don't talk about the companies don't mention their user uh, their company names because that can get you banned so please please don't just don't do it <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the video you have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at and I'll see you on the next video and by the way if you're new and uh, you subscribe to my channel <laughs> welcome to Z clan and I hope you're gonna love it here Want to help my channel grow? Please consider sharing this video somewhere in the media, such as Facebook or Twitter, or recommend me to a friend that you know for sure is going to like this type of content. Alright? So, Z Clan, thank you for the support and motivation. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Who the hell? <laughs> I used to have a wife. What was that? She said she had enough. <laughs> I used to have a car, but it got repossessed. But seeing the Lord oh my God. someone he likes oh, to so test. I've lost dead. all of me. That's why I sing. Okay, the this guy doesn't want to move. <laughs> I used to